Hello and welcome to today's video where I'm gonna teach you how to change your own oil in your ND Mazda MX-5 Miata. This video will show you all of the tools you need and all of the steps and things you need to know so you could do an oil change yourself. Let's get into it. All right, so before I get into how to actually change your oil, I wanna go over all the supplies that you'll need. So the first thing that you'll need is oil. These new Miatas take zero W20. You'll also need a filter. I have an OEM and aftermarket option linked below. Next, you'll need a catch pan or something to catch the oil as it comes out of the engine. You'll need an eight millimeter Allen wrench to get the drain plug out. You'll need an oil filter wrench or some strong hands to do it by hand. And then you'll need a 12 millimeter socket on an impact ratchet or a 12 millimeter wrench. Now let's get into how to actually change your oil. First thing to do is to get the front of the car up in the air. You could do that with ramps, or in my case, I'm gonna use a jack and jack stand. So with this floor jack, if I go straight up under the front of the car, there's a spot on the front subframe that we could use as a jack point. And now I got my jack stands in place, so I'm gently gonna lower the car down onto those. And now we're safely in place. All right, next thing to do is to drop this metal pan here, which is like a splash guard and arrow piece for the bottom of the car. There are nine 12 millimeter fasteners all around the outside. So we're gonna go around and remove these with the impact gun, and then we'll have access to our drain location and our oil filter. All right, so my fasteners were extremely tight here. I would say this is not normal, but I'm gonna use my big impact gun to get these out. And as you can see with that, they just crack free super easily. All right, and with all those out of the way, we could drop down this pan and move it away from the vehicle. All right, so now we have access to both our filter, which is up here, and our drain plug, which is right here. So you could go ahead and use an eight millimeter Allen wrench, which is a very weird thing to use for a drain plug, but it's what they used. You could crack yours loose. I actually cracked mine loose before recording this video. And while you're doing this, I like to push in towards the vehicle to prevent oil from leaking all over your hand. Once you're towards the end, you could swiftly pull this straight away from the pan and, of course, have your pan ready to catch all the oil that drains out. Now I'm just going to let that drain for a while. And to get that to drain faster, you could undo your oil fill cap, which I'll show you how to do right now. So this is your oil fill cap on your engine. If you remove that, it allows air to rush into the volume within the engine that the oil takes up and it will allow it to drain faster. Just a quarter turn to get this out and now we'll be able to have this oil draining out of there as fast as we can. All right, so now underneath the car here, we're down to a real slow drip. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the drain plug back in and then we'll do the filter. All right, so I'm just gonna thread this thing back in by hand. And then I'll go ahead and snug that up. If you want to use a torque wrench, I'll put the torque value on screen right now. All right, and now to remove your oil filter, which is this right here. Now this just untwists from its housing. Sometimes you could get these by hand, but I don't like fighting with them. So I bought these oil filter pliers and these make a lot of difference. You just grip onto them like this. Then you're able to easily start turning that thing and get it loose and then you could go ahead and do it by hand. Here I'm dumping out the old filter and I'm gonna let that drain for a few seconds here. And again, once that slows down, we'll be ready to get our new filter in the car. 
Next thing to do is to get your oil and get your filter ready. Now the reason you need both right now is you want to pre-fill your oil filter. So we're going to fill up the inside of this filter with oil before we screw it up onto the car. Also, you want to lubricate this O-ring just a little bit with some new oil just to help it seat and help it get up into place. So I'm going to crack this oil open, get just a little bit on my finger and get it on this seal right here. And now I'm just carefully going to get some oil in that filter. That just takes up some of the volume and makes it so there's less time with no oil in the system here. And that should be good. Now we're going to be ready to get this filter onto the car. Now that this thing's pretty dry and not dripping, we could go ahead and just spin our new oil filter up into place. And I can feel that seat and I just want to go hand tight basically until I can't tighten it much anymore. Last thing to do is just wipe off any excess oil. And then we could go ahead and get this pan back on. All right, now I got all these bolts started and I'm gonna go ahead and just tighten them down with my impact. All right, last thing to do is to fill up the car with oil. I cut down this Harbor Freight funnel and you can just drop this thing right in place like that. That just helps it fill a little bit faster, but if you have a bigger funnel, it'll go fast. And then we can just fill it up. And this here is gonna take about four and a half liters of oil. I'm gonna put four in it right now since I started to pre-fill that filter. Then we'll put it on the ground and see where we're at. All right, so once you got your car as full of oil as you think it needs to be, you need to check your dipstick. So to do that, you need to pull your dipstick up. I like to pull mine straight up so no oil runs up the stick and gives you a false reading. Then you need to clean it off, preferably with a rag or something that won't leave any residue or debris on the stick. I'm going to show you right now up close what this stick looks like. All right, so this is your dipstick here. You have your low mark there and your full mark here. So now you know what to look for for your high and your low. Put that stick back all the way down, pull it up, and look for where the line of oil is on the stick. Now, if you're doing an oil change, you wanna get that closer to the full than the empty, so that way if your car consumes oil before the next oil change, you won't have to add any. And with that, that's gonna wrap up this video. If you do need any supplies, I would appreciate if you buy them through the links down below, as it gives me a little bit of commission and helps support more videos like this on the channel. With that said, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future videos. Leave any questions or comments that you have down below, and thank you for watching.